first impacts fully stopped. Detective, shall we head to the hotel so you may begin your work? Yeah, let's go. Let's be off then. like it isn't just the police who have been lax lately. The Idlands building inspector ought to be fired. Probably best Maxwell hasn't seen the state of the hotel. He would be devastated. I should warn you, some of the other hotel guests are a bit, um, rowdy. I was forced to defend myself when a few became a bit handsy, shall we say. The registered patrons are in a more exclusive area of the hotel, though, and do not associate with this sort of rabble. Shall we be off? Yeah, let's go. Very good. This way. Don't care for Kim's. Need to stay sharp. Trapped. The elevators seem to be out of order on this level. We'll Aim straight and true.
gotta stop for a drink, yeah? That's it.
no such thing as junk, as far as I'm concerned. Everything's got a use. Exercise that. Show yourself. Over here. I can do that.
This elevator leads to the exclusive area of the hotel. You should feel quite privileged that they will be allowing you in. Yes, I'm the detective. Oh, thank goodness. Let me just open the door for you. Let's talk about my compensation first. Very well. Consider this a retainer. Have a look at the crime scene for clues. And when you're ready, we can discuss your findings. That at the crime scene again? Don't they realize that they're going to disturb the evidence? You'd better come with me, detective. What is this doing here?
Have a look at the crime scene for clues. And when you're ready, we can discuss your findings. You are free to question the residents. But their safety is our priority. So unless you have solid evidence, I would avoid accusations. Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? Tell me about the victim. Mr. Ezra Parker was the primary owner and financier for the hotel. He had vast experience managing venture projects around the world. It was his idea to have our premier clients become investors in the vault section of the hotel. He worked with Vault Tech to have this built to their every specification. Welcome to the Vault 118 gift shop. Forgot a personal item at home. Did you have any thoughts on the case? I'm afraid not, Detective. We're really at a loss, which is why I was sent to find you. Looking for a gift to bring back to that special someone? I'll take a look, sure. Let me know if you find something. Uh-huh. seen someone with a body like that in far, far too long. You're not so bad yourself. You should have seen me before all this. Red hair that was the envy of every girl and legs for days, darling. I'm sure you'd rather hear some of my stories from the silver screen rather than talk about that nasty murder business. I must say, you're quite the actress. What can I say? It just comes naturally. Care to hear some of my stories, detective? Have you ever done radio? Your voice is quite enchanting. Well, darling, play your cards right and maybe I'll whisper some sweet <laughs> Surely you must be here for my salacious stories of the silver screen. I must say, I've known flesh and blood girls who aren't half the woman you are. Keep it up, Tiger, and we'll find out if you can handle how much woman I am. Care to hear some of my stories, Detective? Why don't we grab a bottle of wine and go watch the sunset? Mmm, sounds good, Detective. That was 
great detective, but we probably shouldn't make a habit of this. Catch you later, Tiger. Hello, detective. How can I help? Did you have questions about the case? Tell me about yourself. Well, as you probably know, I'm an actor. I don't like to brag about it, but my last picture, The Fighting Furies, it topped the box office. What were you and Gilda talking about when I walked in? Hmm? Oh, we were just rehearsing a scene. Nothing to worry about. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? It's obviously Santiago. He keeps going back to look at the crime scene. Never mind. Okay. Just let me know how I can help. Progress on construction of the second wing of the vault is completely stalled. Once a premiere... Sounds like Ezra was... Progress on construction of the second wing... Embezzling from his investors.
protect and serve. Well, 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 well. If it isn't the law, I'm the law. Tell me, are you a devotee of the arts? Does that cruel muse call you to her entrapping bosom? Art is life. <laughs> Without it, we are no different than animals. Perhaps. If all we are is a sentience floating in a suit of flesh, or metal, I suppose, then art is the only true communion with the world. Come with me. Tell me, what does this piece say to you? It's about composition, the balance of colors and emotions, and the struggle to maintain internal order. Indeed. This was the last piece I did in a series of portraits of Gilda, number 1378. Her emotional landscape is superimposed on the portrait. The reality of the subject is distorted as the ego attempts to project itself this way. Tell me, what does this one say to you? It's the war. Bombs from every direction, no up or down, the world turned on its head. I suppose in a way it must be. Art shapes the world, and the world shapes art in return. All art must therefore be constantly reborn through the lens of contextual and historic interpretation. We must ascend. It's a metaphor. A young creature grappling with ideas it doesn't possess the capability to understand. Intriguing. The mind will superimpose meaning where none was intended. I had not considered it. Truth be told, this is my best-selling piece. I did this series under a pseudonym, of course. This series has made more money than any of my serious works. And I did the whole thing as a lark. What does that tell you about the value of art to the common man, huh? Ah, my fellow connoisseur of the art. Here to see my latest work. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? The person you should be looking at is Juliana Riggs. That Philistine would not know art from her own excrement. She and Ezra had a rather dramatic fight recently. You could hear her banshee screeches all the way across the hotel. I think you should explain why you keep returning to the crime scene. It's for inspiration, Detective. The others do not like to think about it, but even we shall die someday. Like Prometheus's torch, it kindles within me the fire to create as much art as I can with the time that I have. What were Juliana and Ezra arguing about? I don't know. I was painting at the time, and I was trying to block it out. Though I bet Gildo probably heard them. Maybe you should check with her. It sounds like you've done a lot of paintings of... Gilda. Why her? Our Gilda is a very singular creature, Detective. Do you not see this de Ville from within her? I have never met another who clings to life so tenaciously. Who lives so... in the moment. I must admit, I was quite smitten with her for a time. You're still in love with Gilda, aren't you? So what if I am? What business is it of yours? She deserves someone who truly understands her ephemeral beauty. Not that brute actor. Never mind.
stories about my acting career or something else? All right. Did you know they were thinking of making a TV show of the Silver Shroud? Between you and me, Keith's agent had an inside track to get him the role. Did you need something else? Never mind. I'll be around, languishing from your inattention. Remember? Oh, of course. Silly me. Just let me. Hello again. Did you need something? I heard that Juliana and Ezra had an argument a few days before he was found dead. Tell me about that. Well, I was in my lab at the time, so I didn't think, didn't hear it. But Juliana has always been rather critical of Mr. Parker. I think she found something in the overseer's office. Uh, I wasn't listening when she told me about it. I, I kind of had my head in my research. I don't know, really. I try to let her handle all the money stuff. Oh, was there something else, detective? Never mind. Very well. I'll just get back to my work then. No. No, it's not that. Uh, I've just caught another cold. Probably something that got in when they sent Pearl out. Oh, God. Not Hello, Detective. Did yes, you have a question about the Yes, convinced you had the measles. I think you're the real murderer. <laughs> That's just silly, Detective. Why would I want to kill Mr. Parker? Ezra was embezzling your money. That's why you killed him and framed Keith. You were so close, Detective. It's a shame. I thought I could keep the ruse going a little longer. Oh, well. Had to end eventually, I suppose. This doesn't have to end in more violence, detective. Just walk away. I'll leave, and you can tell them I escaped. If I'm gonna let you go, I want a cut of what you've stolen. Uh. So it's like that, eh? Fine. I'll grease your palm a bit, detective. Now, am I free to go? Ezra? You're alive. Well, congratulations on catching up, detective. Yes, I've been masquerading as Juliana for some time now. What's it going to be, Detective? Join me in getting rich? Or die defending some outdated ideals? Why did you kill Juliana? I hadn't planned on it, but Juliana figured out what I was doing and had to be dealt with swiftly. I thought I could get a bit more money out of this place before making my escape. Well, how is this going to go down? Not a chance. Your murder spree stops here. Then let us end this. I found the killer. It was Ezra. 
He killed Juliana and took her place to hide his tracks. My word! I never thought Mr. Parker was capable of something like this. What happened when you confronted him? He attacked me, but it's over now. Your residents are safe. There you are, detective. Payment for your services and a bonus for uncovering such a heinous plot. I don't think we could have done it without you. That was quite the commotion. Did you need something, detective? Need to restock on hunting or... Let's see what you got. Something for everyone. Right. Going down.
Katie has been so welcoming. I still can't believe this is real. Maybe someday more places in the world will accept us for who Your missing synth was jumped by cannibal trappers. He didn't survive. That poor bastard. That synth came here to live in peace, and we failed him in the worst way possible. It's my fault. I should have gone out there to meet him. Damn it all. I'm glad we were able to bring some closure to the matter. You deserve this. And... Shall we say 200 caps? Given the risks I took to find your synth, I think I deserve more than that. I suppose that's a fair request. 250 caps, then. I've seen the resources you have here. I know you can do better than that. Fine. 300 caps. I'd advise you not to push your luck any further. If you ever want my help again, you're gonna have to pay me some real caps here. I can do 400 caps, but that's as high as I'm willing to go. Don't bother asking for a single cap more. Thanks again for your help. Be safe out there. something or what? Sure. Let's take a look. It's not much. Mm-hmm. I've just got to keep telling myself I'm better off here than... Hi. Need something? Let's see what you have. The best Acadia has to offer coming right up. 